Turning now to a new push on Obamacare. The House approving a bill that would require any breach of security in an Obamacare website to be made public. This comes as the White House has reportedly fired CGI, the company contracted to build healthcare.gov, the same company that later tried to repair the many glitches and bugs. Nina Easton is senior editor and Washington columnist at Fortune. She's also a Fox News contributor and my Friday guest. Great to see you, Nina. Great to be here. All right, let's start with that first headline that CGI appears to be out after we've used millions, almost a billion dollars to put together this website. What do you make of it? Well, it's not surprising, but it also indicates that this administration continues to be worried about the website and worried about the IT system. Uh, keep in mind, CGI built this system, which was a disaster. Uh, the memos show that just a week before the launch, there were 45 different tasks that in even trimmed down website couldn't complete. It's been a disaster from day one, but the fact that they are changing midway, mid-course like this, also shows that they're not happy with CGI's movement towards uh, fixing it yeah, since but then. A lot of Americans will be saying, really, now? I mean, what about before yeah. this thing even launched when apparently many people knew it wasn't up to snuff? I want to bring your attention to the yeah. other thing we talked about in the lead, which was that the House yeah. passed today now this, this law that would you know, make Americans feel safer about going on healthcare.gov. If their information is breached, we were just talking about this massive breach with Target, if this would happen on healthcare.gov that they would have to know within two days. Well, what do you think is going to happen with this? Because the administration already signaling they, they don't like this bill. Well, the, the Democratic controlled Senate is not going to take it up most likely, which I think provides a tremendous campaign opportunity for Republicans going into the 2014 midterms. Hmm. People are concerned about the security of their information and with good reason. I mean, you, you talked about the and, and brought up the target issue. People are worried about that. There have also been security concerns about the, the uh, health insurance website. Uh, there, were, there were social security numbers, if you recall, that were sent to the wrong place early on. There were officials at the website who said, look, we cannot guarantee the safety and security of personal identification information. Right. There's lots to be worried about. And the fact that the 66 Democrats, by the way, in the House supported this bill, yep. but will Senator Reid, Majority Leader Reid in the, in, the, in the Senate take it up? Odds are no. Well, and I, to me, that's, that's a great campaign issue. Quite, quite, quite honestly, in bipartisan fashion for a Friday, I don't understand why anyone would be opposed to keeping yeah. Americans' personal information safe. Here's what Speaker Boehner had to say. Americans have the right to know if the president's health care law has put their personal information at risk, and today's bipartisan vote reflects that concern. It shouldn't take an act of Congress for the White House to provide that information, but the lack of transparency surrounding the security of the Obamacare website has proven that's the case. But, Nina, I draw your attention yeah. to the White House already yesterday put out a statement saying that the administration opposes this uh, bill because it would create unrealistic and costly paperwork requirements. Really? Yeah, I mean, that seems crazy to me. I mean, you, you want people, first of all, they're in a bind. They need more people to sign up. They need more young, healthy people to sign up, as we've heard time and time again. You need to, you need to enhance a sense of security in the system if you're going to do that. You need to f make people feel safe if they're going to put in their, their personal information into a computer system. Um, why wouldn't you want to do that? To me, the reason they don't want to is they don't want to acknowledge that there are these serious potential security breaches, that hackers are actually trying to get in now and, and trying to steal information yep. and that experts cyber experts now are saying that the healthcare industry is the most vulnerable industry going into 2014 when it comes to these data breaches very scary all right uh, yeah. Nina great to see you have a good weekend you too take care